perfect. Thank you. And there's the degree. Do you want a map? Uh, yes, please, actually, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Head on straight. So, you're joining us here today. We're just driving on through the Pinery National Park. Not a provincial park, but a national park. Um, we're on a like 12 kilometer closed circuit at the moment. Not entirely sure where we're going. But uh, obviously, quite a popular place with the cyclists. I see there's been loads of cycle trails and that posted along the way. Some water down to our left just here. Roads rough as you like. We've just arrived at um, Area 4, Zone 4 of the Pinery National Park. We're right on the water's edge, it's Lake Huron. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, here we are. It's been a pleasant drive around so far. They've even got like uh, their own National Park security cars mm -hmm. and stuff that drive around, make sure everything's all right. And bathrooms, toilets, you know, everything you need. Um, very Picnic popular bench. with the. Pardon? Picnic benches. Picnic benches everywhere, yeah. It's uh, very popular with the cyclists by the look of it. Everywhere you go, there's mm. bikes and, you know, bikes on the back of cars, on racks and this, that and the other. But without further ado, we're gonna we're here to check out the beach, so let's get on. Mm -hmm. Fragile. This trail to the beach guides you through rare sand dune community. Plants that are especially adapted to withstand the vigors of this hot, dry environment anchor and stabilize the sand and eventually lead into the formation of an oak pine forest. Any damage to this protective cover would interrupt this process and result in a rapid and fatal erosion. Please help to preserve the special environment of Pinery by using the trails and boardwalks when crossing the dune areas. We certainly will. Up into the sand dunes. But you can see how everything just grows in there's just this like thin layer on the top. And everything else below it's just kind of held together by the roots. And there's the first view of the lake. This whole environment, all the sand dunes and that, is very much reminiscent of where we were in Dorset. We also have a lot of sand dunes and heathland and stuff all built up on sand just like this. But uh, another busy, busy spot unfortunately. That's the problem with coming out to these places in the middle of the summer holidays in a weekday. But we came down here, got a few quick shots of the beach for you. and. Uh, we're going to go around and see what else we can find in this park. It's a pretty big place. There's multiple other stops. Maybe we could do a walk through the woods somewhere or something. Just have to see how it goes, won't we? Autumn must be on its way because the berries are coming out. Everywhere you look, there's berries. So 
Look at this one for a woodpecker tree. Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of Sherwood Forest a bit. Oh, yeah. How hollow it is. <laughs> Look at the vines growing off of that one. Just the whole tree has been taken over by vines. Looks like the tree has died off, but it's now supporting the other plant entirely. So here's the map of where we are today. I believe we came in this way, didn't we, Emma? Mm -hmm. And we've hit the one-way road, crossed the river there, and we've come up all the way to uh, P4, which is the beach we just stopped at. Like I said, unfortunately, it's so busy. I mean, I'm not going to film loads of people on the beach. It's just not going to happen. But we've got more spots along the beach to check out. There's also some trails, um, campsites, and there's the dunes at the end. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what we're going to check out next. Uh, is, is there anywhere in particular that's stood out to you? I like to see the jeans. There's a short trail and there's a slightly longer one there to a viewpoint. Maybe that'd be cool. Yeah. Viewpoint over the river, 2.5k. Um, it is very hot today. It's like uh, 36 degrees or something is what it feels like. Um, absolutely sweated and even though we're not doing anything much. There's no breezes or even down by the water here. So. It's so humid. And save the environment by driving a six litre V8 to the bins. So there's no parking on the road here, but as you can see, just about everybody has. But check out those sand dunes on the right there. Some big ones. So we've quit the beach and opted for something a bit quieter. We're hitting the Heritage Trail here. Um, takes us out to uh, viewing platform on top of the Ozapur Channel. Um, after meandering through an exceptional example of upland oak savanna habitat, the platform is a perfect place for a short rest or a picnic lunch. During winter months the trail is packed when snow accumulates in this perfect location for a tranquil snowshoe. It sounds like fun. Allow yourself one and a half hours to enjoy a relaxed 2.3 kilometers stroll through this gentle landscape. So another thing that they do here in Ontario Parks is uh, photo monitoring. Photomon, um, basically you can come here, you can uh, put your smartphone into this slot and then by doing that everybody can take the same photo of the same spot and uh, what they can do is then take a photo of this thing I don't know what they're called QR, either. QR code thing and uh, they can then post the photo up to the uh, Pinery Park website and they can monitor how the place is doing just from people's smartphone photos so that's pretty cool, that really cool. bit of modern technology helping out for once So this is a bit more like it, not so many people here, in fact we've not seen anybody, it seems that it's so hot today that nobody wants to be walking the trails, they just want to be like burning themselves lobster red on the beach, so uh, each to their own, I'd rather be out here in the woods where there's a bit of shade and uh, walking on down this trail, two and a half kilometre trail and at the end of it, well the midpoint of it I guess, is the uh, viewpoint over the river. So. Looking forward to getting there, having to sit down, brought some drinks with us. We didn't bring many supplies or anything, but we'll probably swing by and get something to eat. We haven't had lunch yet, so uh, yeah, having a nice day of it so far. Um, we were hoping we could get in here for free with the Canada 150 pass that we got in the car, but that only covers provincial parks and not 
national parks, is that right? I think so. Or the, or the other way around. Either way. <laughs> well, whichever way it is, you know. So, uh, it's about eight pounds, uh, eight pounds, where am I? It's about eight dollars a person. But, if you come in here for a full day, there's, there's plenty to look at and plenty to do. Um, we're literally just skimming the surface. Um, I've already said I'd like to come back on another day. Maybe a day that's a bit greyer after the uh, summer holidays are out and then we can actually go down and make a move with the beach and stuff. Um, well, it's quieter, but as you can see, we've got this entire woods to ourselves, so uh, not worried about people here. Just making the most of it. I can't believe the noise those bugs make there. Really, like, I mean, they're massive, mm -hmm. but I still can't believe the noise they make. You see how different the oak leaves are here as well. Mm -hmm. I must say. Pleasant to be out here in the shade, or a bit more shade than we were. Man, it's hot today. We're British, so obviously we complain about the heat in the summer, and uh, all winter we'd be complaining about how cold it is. So you're gonna have to get used to that. Crazy cobwebs. There's lots of these growing on the trees as well. They don't know if they're the horseshoe funguses. Um, don't have the hold me to fact on any of the things they say. I'm new here. I know about as much as you do. Unless you're Canadian, in which case I know a lot less than you do. But I'm just trying to show you what I see. So we made it down to the water. Just see the viewpoint ahead of us there. We're nowhere near the water because the mosquitoes are eating us. There's no break. Wherever you're near anything damp or wet or wherever you go, there's mosquitoes to get you. We made it, Emma. Like working down here at the moment to uh, try and promote the uh, breeding of the snapping turtles. Um, they've got this sanctuary here. Obviously, you can see it's pretty popular with the kayakers. There's been a few down here. Um, we just had a family down the bottom here on the boardwalk, so we're just giving them a minute to leave before we push in, come down to the water to get a shot. That one's already down there. How are you doing? As you can see, this is one hell of a spot. Snap and Turtles must be happy here. And everything else is a plethora of wildlife once again. Dragonflies and wasps and water bugs and you name it, everywhere you look it's moving. I can even think I can just about make out some fish. Yes I can. Did you see him? It's like they all quit when you get the camera out. Oh, just talk all the way through it.
Man, it's hot today. Mm -hmm. That was a nice walk around the uh, Memorial Trail? Heritage Trail, that was it. Uh, I'll march on down the end there, went to the uh, lookout point and that. But uh, there's probably enough footage for one video. So uh, we're going to go and get some lunch now. And uh, that's about it for this one. So huge love, and we'll catch you all in a bit.